Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're going to be talking about some very important subjects such as gaslighting and enabling, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is all about mental health and what I like to do is pull different topics from the YouTube community to try to teach you how to improve your mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And all of my lovely patrons out there, I just uploaded a brand new video. Um, I did something today to kind of clean up some of the mess from my past. A lot of you know I'm still six and a, I'm six and a half years sober. Yeah, still six and a half years sober. <laughs> but anyways, I just did something huge today that I've been working on for six and a half years. So anybody who's over on Patreon, go over there, check out that new video, all right? But yeah, I've had a lot of requests to talk about the Ace family. A lot of people ask me to talk about the lollipop incident. I didn't really see a reason to. Like, what, what do you guys want me to add to the conversation? It was messed up, it was stupid. Well, here's what I'll, here's what I'll throw in, the, a little neuroscience. You know that prefrontal cortex I keep talking to you about? It's responsible for logical decision making and impulse control, all right? Like, think about the steps that you had to go through to film that entire thing and think it was a good idea to upload on the internet, right? Like, somebody who's mindful and strengthening their prefrontal cortex through things like meditation or simple mindfulness and being more aware of the present moment, never would have uploaded that. So, Austin, Go meditate or something, get your act together, all right? But anyways, I do wanna talk about this because um, I was just eating lunch and Tristan's not gonna agree with this, but I'm gonna make three videos today, I think. I'm gonna do a video about the psychology of cinema sins. If you watch cinema sins, let me know down in the comments below because I have a really cool video planned, I think, if you guys are interested in it. Anyways, I was just watching Tea Spill as I'm eating lunch, I'm like, oh, this Ace family is messed up. All right, I don't know much about um, the wife, and I'm sorry I don't know her name, I'm not an Ace Family fan, but Austin, he done messing up. And we have some prime examples of gaslighting as well as enabling. All right, so I was completely unaware of this $100,000 basketball shootout giveaway, all right? Cool thing. So anyways, for those of you who don't know, basically Austin announced a $100,000 giveaway um, for the Ace family members, right? They call their, you know, I call you guys the rewired soldiers. He calls, you know, their subscribers the Ace family members, right? So he announces this $100,000 giveaway, tells people to enter, da 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 da, right? And he says it's for Ace family members. And all these people are trying to enter. They wanna get in there. They wanna, you know, be part of this giveaway, $100,000, all right? A ton of people can benefit from this. But when the list was actually released, it's a ton, a ton of super rich YouTubers and celebrities. Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When they started getting backlash, Austin tweets out, like basically just gaslighting everybody, like, whoa, 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 whoa. We do things for you all the time. We just wanted to do something for, you know, our, uh, our creators, you know, and celeb friends, right? And it's like, no, that's not how this works. Gaslighting is a form of manipulation in which you try to make the other person question their sanity, right? And one of the tactics that they use is that they're going to try to make you feel guilty. So what he was doing there is that he's trying to to bring up the fact that they've done so much for you, so you need to back up on us about this. Which, if he if he would have come at the situation saying like, tag your favorite celebrities and YouTubers or whatever, we're doing a giveaway for them, and all of that money is going towards charity. But that's not how he framed it. He framed it as anybody could enter this giveaway, right? And he would, he would think it would be nice if people donated some of the money to charity, all right? So this is really messed up. And how does this relate to you? You might have somebody in your life who does this. This is very common in abusive relationships. If you've ever experienced this, let me know down in the comments below. A common scenario, for example, is being in an abusive relationship, whether it's uh, verbal, emotional, physical, whatever it is, but what they try to do is say like, oh, how, how is it possible that I don't love you? Look at all the things I buy you. Look at all these great things I do for you, right? Because here's one of the things, is, and this is why I try to teach you guys about, you know, being mindful and reevaluating your value systems, right? Because if you are putting all of your value in stuff, it is far easier to be manipulated because when they're saying these things to you, when they're telling you, look at all these things I bought for you, look at all these things I did for you, if your values are placed on these objects, 
you know what I mean? Then it's easier to be manipulated. But if your value system is based on the relationships you have, the emotional support that you have, you know, all of these things, then it's easier to catch that, that manipulation tactic and be like, whoa, 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 all right? So what he did there is a prime example of it and I hope you learn from it, all right? But then it gets even worse. When they ended up doing this contest with all these celebs and YouTubers and things like that, Austin ends up getting a professional basketball player who is also a friend to come in and this dude ends up winning the $100,000. So people got completely bamboozled, complete, like everybody, everybody got screwed in this situation, right? So the other situation that he's talked, that um, T-Spill brought up was this app, this app that they're talking about and they're trying to, you know, sell it to fans. Now there's part that I agree and disagree with like, Here's the thing, like, people come at me. People come at me sideways. They're like, oh, oh, you're trying to like sell your book? You're trying to do Patreon? Like, I had somebody like say like, oh, oh, you got a son to feed? <laughs> like, all this stuff, it's like, yeah, people need to make money, you know? So like, I don't, I'm not gonna necessarily like, you know, harp on them too bad by like, you know, using like a sales tactic of like, hey, come get exclusive content. Hell, I just talked about it in the beginning of this video. That's one of the benefits of being a patron, okay? But like, they didn't even have content pre-recorded for the launch of the app. So the issue is, is that people are paying for this app and don't have any content. Now, what I will say this, and this is not victim blaming, but now let's transition into enabling. You need to cancel your subscription. Like, if you're somebody watching this, if you're somehow an Ace family member, cancel your subscription, all right? Like, it's that age-old saying, like, screw me once, no, oh, no, 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 no. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me, right? And when we're talking about, you know, fooling me once, that's the first month of the payment with no content, right? After that, you gotta back up out of there, and you guys, like, I know I give some tough love, but you gotta understand, this is also like not, these are lessons that I had to learn, right? If I keep hanging out with the same crappy people and, and the same crappy things keep happening, or if I have a friend who keeps backstabbing me and I keep hanging out with them, eventually, like, at, at what point am I like, okay, maybe, maybe I need to make better choices. My son actually just went through a similar situation. He has this, <laughs> this not so great friend on Xbox who is just like, like verbally abused my son and just said like, you know, mean things and bullied and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, I barge in my son's room all the time I'm like, hey, be nice, <laughs> right? But anyways, he keeps playing with this kid. They keep getting into it. I'm like, dude, just block him. Just quit playing with him. There are millions of people playing Fortnite. Stop playing with him, right? But like, my son keeps re-adding him and playing with him and then the kid does it again. And I straight up tell my 10 year old son, I said, you know, like, I don't have any sympathy. I've told you this and you keep doing it, right? Like, at what point do we take responsibility, okay? But anyways, sorry for that little tough love segment right there, but we need to quit enabling the Ace family. So, here's the thing. We just talked about three things that, you know, they've been doing over the past month or so, okay? From the lollipop incident to this basketball thing to their app. Right there, that video right behind me, that video right behind me has millions of views. I think it's at 3.5 million, I'm not sure. That thing has a pre-roll ad as well as multiple mid-roll ads. I think it might have four mid-roll ads, okay? And I'm on my desktop, so the one I just, I tried to get that screenshot right there, and when I clicked through, it did a non-skippable ad, which pays content creators even more, right? So we are enabling their behavior, all right? And for anybody out there, and there's not really a solution to this, I don't think many Ace family members are actually going to watch this video, but, you know, I'm not in that, like, that mentality of like, you know, uh, mob mentality and these mass boycotts and things like that. But like, you really do gotta think about it. For example, Gus Johnson. Gus Johnson, hilarious creator. Tristan actually got me into his content. But he made a video yesterday about Chris Brown. I'm actually gonna link it down below. And he, he was just, he was just pissed and confused because of with all the stuff going on with R. Kelly and the documentary and everything like that. Like, basically, uh, Gus was sitting there like, why, why are people still supporting Chris Brown? And Gus did all this research and laid it out how Chris Brown is just keep doing his same thing over and over and over and over and over again, right? And we're the ones enabling him. People are enabling him. And we lift these people to a point where they're somehow above the law. And 
in recent videos, I've gotten a lot of backlash from stands of other creators and stuff, and that's cool, but I do hope, one of my, like, my main goal, my main goal is to help all of you, but yeah, I guess, you know, part of it is to call out poor behavior on this platform, because you gotta understand, somebody like Chris Brown started off messing up at a smaller level. His first major incident was with Rihanna, but you keep getting away with it. You keep getting away with it. You keep getting away with it, right? And then like something that Gus brought up was that other celebrities that he idolizes are endorsing Chris Brown too. So why do people have the motivation to change if they're being enabled constantly? You know what I mean? Like Gus went through IMDB for uh, Chris Brown and just TV appearances, movie appearances, you know, um, uh, music, all these things, right? So I, I, I didn't want to bring up the Gus Brown, uh, the Gus Johnson thing. <laughs> Gus Brown, what are they related? <laughs> the Gus Johnson thing, but it just popped in my head. So in no way am I saying what Austin is doing or the Ace family is doing is anywhere near the, the physical assaults, the countless physical assaults that Chris Brown is doing. But I just want to let you know, this is how people get to that level. Constant enabling, it starts out small. So when you look at the Logan Pauls, when you look at the Jake Pauls, when you look at Rice Gum, when you look at the Ace family, when you look at these people, you gotta see we are enabling their behavior. And here's the thing, I always say like do a YouTube cleanse, right? Like purge your YouTube list. So for example, I know a lot of you are subscribed to creators just because you like watching the train wreck, right? Well, you are you are encouraging that train wreck. You see what I'm saying? Did any of you see that episode of Black Mirror where it was like, what was it called? Like one million credits or something like that. I'll have a screenshot, you know, where like the, it was like a singing competition or whatever, but they were being encouraged like because based on this point system, this value system, like Black Mirror does a good job of making us look at our society and where it can end up, but people aren't changing, you know what I mean? So again, like if you don't support somebody and you don't support their actions, please stop. Please stop watching, unsubscribe. That's the only message that they're gonna hear. You know what I mean? Me personally, there have been shows that I stopped watching. There have been musicians that I stopped listening to um, and all these things. And like, and it's because I don't feel right supporting them. And that's something that helps me go to sleep at night. And I told you guys, you know, if you look at, you know, Freud and talking about the subconscious and things like that, there is a part of our brain that knows, that knows what we're doing is wrong. You see what I mean? By, by knowing that, that starts to build up your own anxiety. Some of that negative self-talk that you might have might be because you are supporting people who your morals do not align with. Does that make sense? So I just want you guys to think about this stuff when it comes to creators, but also the people in your life. Like I'm a recovering drug addict and alcoholic. People enabling me was killing me. And I didn't get better. I did not get better until everybody shut me out. The last thing that my mom ever did for me was say, the only thing I will do for you is to pay rent for your sober living. And I'm lucky, a lot of people don't get that. But my mom wasn't giving me money, she wasn't giving me a place to say. Friends, family members all cut me off. So the only way she was gonna help me was by doing something that was gonna help me get help, right? And sometimes you gotta force that person's hand. So in the context of YouTube creators, unsubscribe, quit watching their videos and giving them millions and millions and millions of views. Like you guys, man, AdSense ain't that great, but when you do it millions of times with a bunch of pre mid rolls, they made a bunch of money off of screwing everybody over, all right? But anyways, I want you to let me know down in the comments below, Has have people gas gaslit you in the past and tried to manipulate you with things, all right? Or Let's ask this too, or can you relate to my story? Have people enabled your bad behavior? All right, let's have a conversation down in the comments below, okay? But anyways, that's all I got for this video. Let me know again down in the comments below if you'd be interested in a video titled The Psychology of Cinema Sins, because I have a really good idea in my head. Um, but anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing, and don't forget, there's a brand new exclusive video up over on Patreon, so go check it out. All right, thanks again so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.